Hi guys, welcome back to another Seki's Reef video. Today, I'll be speaking to you about how to care for clownfish. If any of your, you newbies out there just, you know, getting into the um, marine world, maybe moved from freshwater to marine and you, you're looking in to get some clownfish. So today, I'll be telling you the most best ways to care for a clownfish. Let's get into this, guys. Today, I'll tell you how to care for the Ocellaris clownfish. So, they're really good beginner fish to start off with. They're really good. They're, they're very easy to care. The care level is very easy and very hardy. And it's good, definitely good for um, saltwater beginners. Especially the tank raised ones. You don't really want to get the um, the wild ones, the ones caught from the wild, because they, they, they will be a bit more stressed. So the tank raised ones will be the best. Um, the size. The size, they normally go about, what, three to four inches. It depends really on the tank size as well. That's like max three, four inches, I don't know. Yeah. Um, you really want to keep your pH at eight to 8.4. Temperature wise, you want to really have it at 24 degrees to 27 degrees. I don't really want to go up to 27 degrees. I've done that before and that caused ammonia. We'll speak about that in another video. But 24 degrees, 27 degrees max, um, you Americans out there, um, 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, salinity rise, I would really keep your clownfish in between 1.02 to about 1.025. So their lifespan. Well, I've seen people keep clownfish up to about 20 years. It depends how healthy they are. And a normal clownfish, if you care in it, if you've got like all the um, chemistries right, um, it'll probably live up to about like what 10 12 years or something if you care for it really well but those lucky people out there can care for it up to 20 years okay their temperament or behavior um normally yeah they're very peaceful fish um you can see here i've got some yellow gobies in my tank um they're not really fussed about them. The only thing they'll probably be aggressive to is their own species and I'll get onto that later. So the aquarium size will probably be, well this is a Fluval Evo 13.5, so it's 13.5 gallons or 52 litres. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say no more than 8 gallons to keep a clownfish, eight gallons, you'll probably only have to keep one clownfish. Normally, if you want to get clownfish, you should get two, yeah, two. All about breeding now. Um, clownfish, they're quite easy to breed, yeah. If, if they're paired, basically, what happens is all clownfish are born male. And then the biggest one in that pair will become the female. If they're the same size, that's when they can start fighting. So you need to be careful about that. That's why you should buy them completely different sizes. So one of them just sacrifices and becomes the male and the other one will become the female. And then they'll pair up together and probably hopefully find somewhere to host like an anemone or a coral or something like that. So feeding them. Well, I feed my clownfish, brine shrimp, flake. And I, I think the fish, those fish peck a little bit of reefoids, the coral food. They do like that a little bit as well, just getting that, that as well. But normally I feed them, one day I feed them brine shrimp, and then the next day I feed flake, and then the next day after that, and every other day I feed brine shrimp, and then all of those other days I feed 
um, flakes, if you get what I mean, so I alternate. They do like um, copepods, they like to snack on them as well. So that's really it guys, that's really how you care for clownfish, just those beginner steps. So, so if, if you are looking into getting a marine aquarium, you might want to buy those clownfish you've been looking at. So yeah guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video and please can you like and subscribe if you really want to. So thanks for watching guys.